Thank you very much, Marco, for those kind words. Um, as you heard, I've, uh, I've got a military background. Uh, I've spent 35 years uh, leading and being led in some pretty challenging and difficult environments. The challenges that face me and my people becoming increasingly wicked. Warfare has always been complicated, but I think it's fair to say it's getting increasingly complex. And you can see for yourselves, because war is all over our TV screens and news channels at the moment, images that show leaders operating in the most demanding of environments, environments that are increasingly getting more contested, more congested, connected and cluttered. Facing situations requiring life and death decisions under the most intense pressure, often having to deal with challenges that were not predicted, nor planned for, nor were their people trained for. For example, the recent proliferation in drones and drone warfare. Not a new capability, it's inexpensive drones being used in an offensive capability has been around since 2012. But as a recent operation in Ukraine where swarms of kamikaze drones were able to penetrate hundreds of kilometers behind enemy lines to attack airfields clearly shows the ability for leaders to integrate, to operationalize and to counter this technology is. So imagine if there was a tool that could help us predict some of these emerging challenges and threats that could help prepare us as leaders better to stress our plans to ensure we consider all the possible consequences of our actions. And imagine if we were able to support and enhance our decision-making process. In the UK military, we always have been taught that to get ahead of the opposition, you need to be comfortable making decisions armed with only 80% of the information. So imagine if we had something that could help us get as much of that information as possible in a shorter period of time. Something that learns as it goes. Well, imagine no more. The real game changer moment for us is to use AI to do things that, right now, we simply can't. Exploiting the massive data we get to make optimum decisions at machine speed predicting how the opposition will react so we can get ahead of them. The purpose of developing an AI battle lab is to have applied AI to enhance autonomy with less dependence on humans in the loop. The AI battle lab provides the synthetic environment allowing the officers practice fighting, learning when to trust the AI, developing new tactics and procedures. This is all new capability and now we need to learn how to make best use of AI and autonomy. So the capability already exists. It's been used by UK Defence and by NATO. And at the LSC, we're currently working with this technology to provide a defence client in the Middle East with a new cap capability. As you heard on the video, a battle lab that will help its leaders to be better prepared for those wicked challenges ahead, to predict, to develop and to support, to stay one step ahead of the opposition. So why am, I, why am I telling you this? You're not a military audience. Well, the military does not have a monopoly on challenge or on wicked problems, a lot of which we've heard this morning. We're all facing increasing uncertainty and increasing rate and pace of change increasing effects of a rapidly expanding technology, increasing globalization that's better connected, a better informed population, and with changing demographics. You heard before about Generation Z. And of course, there are the unknown unknowns, the banking crisis, the cost of living crisis, the effects of global warming and conflict, and COVID. Imagine if your organization was able to predict and prepare for COVID. Far-fetched? Well, one organization did. In 2007, the All England Lord Tennis Association, having studied the 2003 SARS outbreak, took the bold leadership decision to take out pandemic insurance at an insurance annual cost of 1.5 million. 
High risk? Maybe. Yet that one brave decision alone meant that when COVID hit in 2020 and the Wimbledon competition was cancelled for the first time since World War II, the association was able to claim £114 million and survive. So, imagine if an artificial intelligence tool developed for and tested by the military that is five to six years ahead of anything else out there could be developed for you, for your organisation, to be able to help you predict, support and learn, to make those courageous leadership Wimbledon decisions. So instead of a battle lab, we're calling it something like a boardroom gym to help your leaders stay ahead, get ahead of the opposition. And if you're interested in learning anything more about it, we're downstairs. Please do come and see us. Thank you very much indeed.